This is the point where I always fail. <laughs> um, despite all the rehearsal, this is the point where I go blank. Uh, in the theatre, we call this dying on stage. If you forget your lines or lose your voice, you die. Of course, death has far greater repercussions off stage. In real life, we all die. You, me, the people we love. How are we to bear this? How could we possibly bear our own non-existence? For the last 16 years, I've had the opportunity to work in Geelong with a group of artists known as Back to Back Theatre. The company is built around uh, an ensemble, a very unique ensemble of actors. The core subject of the company's work has been mortality, identity and the social bond. This is Mark. <coughs> Actually, this is Mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mark. Mark exists as a photo and as a real person. There you go, Mark. Uh, okay. What? Uh, your mum's not here, is she, Mark? Yeah, my mom. At home. Okay. At home. At home. Okay. All right. All right. You better use the slide. Go. Click. Okay. This is Mark's mum, Anne. Uh, <clears throat> In 2001, Mark and I were touring his one-man show to Spain. The show was called Cow. Cow. Cow, yeah. Before leaving Australia, Anne gives Mark a disposable camera. Cue Mark, just to remind people of the 90s. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mark leaves the camera on the end of his bed in the hotel room he and I both share. Each day I encourage Mark to take photos, but in the end I give up. Mark just doesn't seem to be interested. Cow is a huge success and we return to Australia. And Mark's mum takes the camera to the chemist to get it processed. And I am surprised, I'm actually shocked, to discover that the film is full of images of, Q mark, that's it, <coughs> me in a state of sleep in the hotel room in Spain, Q mark, go, go. In fact, 22 images of me asleep. <laughs> this is a subversive act by Mark. This is an act of empowerment. They are an illustration, these images are an illustration of a very idiosyncratic and particular vision of a very cheeky and playful artist. As a director, I have learnt from Mark that the act of creation often comes from a very unexpected place. Q mark. And that when I think, <laughs> when I think I am the master of the creative process, I often, I am often reminded that I'm not. And sometimes I am in fact the subject. <laughs> For the 2002 Melbourne International Arts Festival, Back to Back Theatre creates a new show called Soft, Q Mark. Mark? Hi. Yeah, you. Sonia. Sonia. Darren Richards. Darren Richards. Nikki Holland. Nikki Holland. 
Rita Halabaric are the actors in the company. The process for making soft had actually started three years earlier when we received a phone call from a journalist from the Geelong Advertiser wanting our comment on the fact that there was a uh, decrease in the amount of individuals being born with Down syndrome and a statistical correlation with the uh, increase in the abortion rate in our community. This was a very messy public debate about abortion and something that we felt ill-equipped uh, to uh, comment on and declined to comment. But the call was a catalyst for us to begin an investigation into the moral and ethical dilemmas of emerging genetic technologies, specifically prenatal screening for genetic conditions. Our inquiry brought us to the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, where the actors met with scientists responsible for developing prenatal screening technologies for an ever-increasing range of genetic conditions. In bringing the actors and the scientists together, the scientists were in a position to explain their work to people, the actors, adults, some of whom were carrying the genetic condition which the screening tests sought to identify. It was not an easy conversation. Have a look at this. This is a short video of the actors in discussion with a staff member of the Institute who explains the repercussions of prenatal screening. Ladies who get pregnant now, they, they ask them whether they want to, to have this test to see whether they've got a chance of having a baby. Have you ever come across that? Like a lady that has had a baby that was born with some sort of ability, disability? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what did she do? Did she keep it or she bought it? Lots of different things happen. Yeah. After talking with the scientists, genetic counsellors, and ethicists, we returned to our rehearsal room. Nikki, one of the three actors in the company with Down syndrome, is inspired to play the role of a doctor. So we set up a scenario, an improvisation, where Nikki consults a couple who discover through an ultrasound that they are carrying a fetus with Down syndrome. In a remarkable moment of improvisation, merging her fictional character with her existence as a person, Nikki, playing the doctor, reveals to the couple that she too has Down syndrome and that their concerns for their child's welfare and future should therefore be allayed. Here's a short excerpt of the finished performance of Soft. Human being, nice little mountain eyes, long hair. Oh, I can see the heart. I can see. It beating. Oh. Is everything all right? No, you won't. It's my job. It's my job. Huh? This child has a genetic makeup that will lead to Down syndrome. I can get you some more information if you like. Just wait a sec. Feel free to chat to Dr. Holland because Dr. Holland actually has Down syndrome. Mm, uh, I thought so, but I didn't want to ask. Does the nurse have it? I'll ask that. Nurse, do you have Down syndrome? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you have, you have Down syndrome? Yeah. Yeah, she's got it. <laughs> <laughs> they would have a job. They would have a roof over their head and food on the table. And someone to love them. That's what we know about the money. Who's going to love them? We both work full time. We have a mortgage and we just brought a new car. We want a termination. After receiving the result of the amniocentesis test, the couple decide it will be in the best interest of the child to terminate the pregnancy. The doctor and the nurse, who both have Down syndrome, are devastated. Two thousand and fourteen, Weimar, Germany. This photo of Mark was taken on stage before our show Ganesh versus the Third Reich opened. 
In the play, a character accuses Mark's character of having the mind of a goldfish and that his capacity to understand is so limited, limited he should be removed from the performance. Set in part in World War II, the play also touches on the Nazi T4 program, a process to eliminate people with disabilities from society. This is a photo of the exterior of the German National Theatre in Weimar where the play was performed. Taken some 80 years before our opening night at the height of the Nazi era, the theatre was the place where the Weimar Republic was proclaimed and frequently, uh, and which Hitler attended when, whenever in Weimar. Theatre is both a symptom of and a self-cure for society. It is not merely a spectacle, but a social relationship between people. It's a dialogue. What is remarkable about the back-to-back -back actors is that they consistently and bravely confront challenges to their own existence. They question their supposed non-existent state and reply to us as an audience with artworks rich in generosity, humanity and critique. Performance, like democracy, allows people to be seen and heard. It gives people a voice. The stories we choose to tell on stage can shape our experience in the world. And what you create when you no longer accept the collective solution, but is of your own uniqueness and conviction, like Mark's very odd photo essay of me in Spain, can introduce new meanings into the world. Thank you.